Hi guys, welcome to the video. Uh, got a iPad A2197 today, and these are the things we're going to need to repair this device. Uh, I've got a toolkit here from a company called Chardon, and you're going to need one of those. Just a, a star screw screw head will do the job. Um, and also, uh, the repair on this is a digitizer is broken, uh, and also the customer wants a new battery. Now, usually I supply this stuff, but he said, no, I want to supply it and do my stuff. I said, okay, fine. So anyway, battery and digitizer, hopefully that works okay. Uh, so put that to one side for now. Gonna need some, some, some glue just to bond around the edges um, or some of the part of the edges, some double-sided tether tape, uh, which I'll use for, uh, again, bonding the, the, the digitizer down. I put that to one side, a pry opening tool as well. Uh, maybe a spudger tool, a little blade to remove the old um, adhesive. I think that music's a little bit too loud. Now, by the way, what I'm doing this time, rather, uh, rather than um, actually, um, can't get to just exactly how I want it. Um, I'm not going to add music, a track um, to the video, you know, during the editing. I've got something playing in the background. It's like it's unlicensed music. Uh, so we can use it as content creators and uh, you can add it to your videos or whatever. There's a playlist, um, the, the, web, the actual channel's called Audio, Audio Library. Well, I think it's pretty cool. It's got loads of different tracks on there. So I'll let that run in the background. Tell me what you think. If it's if it's good, you like it, no good, it's fine. Oh yeah, the other thing you'll need, a bit of alcohol to remove the old adhesive um, and uh, a, a, a heating solution. So I've got a heat pad here. You can use a, a hair dryer, actually slowly so going around does the job. A uh, hot air gun, a uh, hot air station on a low temperature, that can that can help as well. And uh, this light's horrible, isn't it? God, look at it. Oof, not much I can do with it, that's all I've got at the moment. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to heat up uh, the device, my heat pad, put it on 80 degrees, and it'll get up there pretty quickly. And uh, we'll let that, leave that on there for a few minutes and we'll continue the video. And I'll show you how to take the, the digitizer off, clean up uh, and take the battery out. And when we've done all that, we'll remove uh, the, the bonding, all that sort of stuff and apply the new, uh, the new um, uh, screen. Now I've got a white pad here. This is a heat proof pad. That will not burn. It's brilliant. The mat underneath, that does kind of like get a bit hot when I've got using the heat pad. This thing gets hot, but it won't damage it. It won't distort it in any way, nothing like that. So anyway, one track's finished. Uh, the only issue I've got now with these, this music playing in the background, it plays adverts in between, which is really annoying. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that and skip to the next track. But anyway, let's see how we get along. Right, that's enough uh, time. Uh, it's been about five or six minutes. That is hot. Look at this, how that evaporates on there. Look, you can see how quickly the alcohol is just almost rapidly evaporating. Okay, so I'm switching off the heat pad. I'm going to put that to one side. Remove the iPad. Put it, oops, not the, uh, the camera. And I'm just going to unplug the device. Put it over there. I'll do it for now. And that's okay now. I don't need the heat pad. Well, I'll just leave it there. Just going to give you some. Put some music on, shall we? I don't know if you can hear that, but there you go. Right, so what I'm going to do first of all, I'm going to put a little bit of this alcohol just in between the, the glass and the frame. Put a little bit of alcohol on my opening tool and just slowly Rise it up. Okay, don't go in too far. There's, and as you can see, how quickly that's breaking down the bonding. Put more as you go around. I mean, this digitizer is broken anyway, but you, know, you will get a sign that the screen's too hot that it won't work temperature's too hot because it's boiling in there literally can fry an egg on it now 
Now, the one thing you do need to be careful of is the home button uh, because the home button has the fingerprint sensor built in to the chip which is near the home button. Um, it's attached to it actually so somebody you know you can easily it's a good bit of security actually somebody could easily take the glass off put a new home button on and away you go but no Apple thought ahead and said no we're putting the home button fingerprint sensor in the home button so if somebody loses their iPad they're not going to lose uh, they're not going to be able to access the data okay now just slowly pull it away and lifting it up like this putting that there okay Some people start on the other side. I've always started this way. It's just something I'm used to, you know. Okay, some more alcohol. Alcohol is your best friend when taking iPads apart. I'm telling me, trust me, they're amazing. It's an amazing bit of kit. I will never let you down. I like people. Not that I'm saying I've been let down, but no. You know what I mean. Okay, there you go, and that's easy. So you can see that the the actual home button is there. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is remove um, some of the well, my glove first of all. Remove some of this bonding over here, so I can access the the screw holes for the iPad. Okay, using my Chardon toolkit. Yeah, I like this bit, okay, it's good. I've got an electric driver as well, uh, which I do like to use, which is just here actually. You can put them in a tray, screw so you don't lose them, or the actual Chardon toolkit comes with this brilliant product actually. Let's uh, show you what that is. It's a magnetic mat, so you can leave uh, the your screws on there and you won't lose them. They won't even fall off. Look, brilliant. Love it. I wish I had one of those years ago. I wouldn't have so many screws on the floor at the moment. Right, okay, so now the actual LCD is has got tape on this side and over here. So just get a blade and you know, cut yourself and just slowly break away the bonding. Okay, that's done. Get your prying uh, spudger tool if you have one or something just to get underneath uh, the LCD frame which is just there. I'll lift it. You need to get underneath this white plastic. Just slowly prise it out. Careful not to break it. You can put your screen on so you can see how much pressure you're applying. And on this side as well. Okay, and then that's fine, that's done. And you can pull the screen that way to your right or left, if it depends which way you're working. Uh, you have three screws here which will allow you to detach the connectors for the screen. And I like that, I like this. You, know, you just chuck them on there, and yeah, good. Never really used that bit before, but I'll use it on a regular now. There you go. That's not going anywhere. I, I highly recommend this tool. 
look in the description below this video and um, grab one let me know what you think if you don't like it you can always send it back but i'm sure you won't great bit of kit right got a bit of dust on there i've got a, a, a duster i've got a light brush as well uh, also this cleaning kit that i've got um, is available in the description below comes with uh, quite a few different 15 or 16 pieces of products brushes and this this and that but i'll show you in a minute when i when i use it the home button flex goes through underneath this rubber piece there pull the flex off put the tape off the flex slowly like so keep that to one side get underneath the flex and pull the flex out I do like the music that's playing yes okay now what you need to do is you need to get this off the home button be very careful you don't want to rip the flex get some alcohol to be honest what you need to do is hair dry this um, this area get it really hot and you want to get underneath uh, you get, want to get underneath uh, this sewing button here and you want to take out the the frame that comes with it underneath otherwise you the rubber piece will come off so I'll do that off camera later on it's dead easy heat it up uh, this part and get some alcohol get underneath this bit here and that bit there job done um, and what we're going to do now is remove the battery uh, the battery screw putting that there now it's still warm so what I want to do is before we do anything else I want to remove the battery because the glue underneath is still warm it'd be easy to to remove I just need to get a plastic card um, something along the lines like this but it needs to be a bigger one I haven't got it on my desk at the moment let me have a quick look around no I haven't I haven't got that so I'm just gonna grab it from another desk bear with me a second Right. This tool is right in front of me. God, I didn't see it. So, okay, so I'm gonna put some alcohol down here. Put plenty in. Don't be a penny pincher. Put plenty in. Get this tool and prise out from underneath. If you think you know, you don't want to split these batteries up because they'll catch fire. So be careful. Be very, very careful. I do I won't mind putting some more heat down there to be honest put on heat pad again but as you go along put some uh, alcohol on your card as well if you're using your card don't use metal use plastic trust me okay get in between no, that's not good get in between this battery Can use a credit card, something like that. But that's not good now. I need to get another one. I right, got another card. And put it, put the alcohol down. Just give it got plenty. Give it a few minutes to, to get around. This is a bit thick. This card is. It's not as thin as the other one. Need to get a thinner one. I'm not putting enough alcohol on the card. That's why it's not. Break the glue down. I hate taking batteries out, I'll be honest with you. Okay. Now you can see that's quite loose. So we need to, what we need to do now is lift off the board. Uh, I want to get all the glue out from the, this area here. So that can be a bit annoying this area. Just getting my spudger tool underneath there. And what I need to do now, we need to get under the, the actual board and lift the board up slightly to allow us of access 
Now be careful, you don't want to do it one side and get a bit of a bit more on the side. You don't want to bend the board at all because you could damage one of the components, a chip, and then you'd be in trouble. So we don't want to do that. Get this tool underneath the battery. And it should lift out. Not playing ball at the moment, be careful. There you go, the battery is now out. Let's get this uh, advert that's playing on here. That's too loud. That sounds good. Right, okay. Uh, so there you go, the battery's removed. It's a while. We've got this area exposed. Let's move, remove the old bonding. Just get a blade. If you want to put a bit of alcohol on your on, on the sides, you can. Uh, to be honest, I'd, you can do it, but it just makes a mess of everything. Make sure it's clean. You can use alcohol at the end and you've got a bit of all this stuff just to clean up the area with the cloth. Makes a right mess this stuff. Now we're doing this in real time and not, you know, I've only paused it to just to get a couple of bits that I haven't, you know, didn't have around the table here. Um, so that's why it takes a little bit longer. So this is, you know, it's going to be a long video today, I think. What we're in now, 15 minutes, okay. So this kind of gives you an idea of what, uh, you know, I'm, I've got a lot of experience with these things and so how long it takes me to do one. So if you've never done one before, then you're probably looking at at least double or three times a time. But, you know, give it a go. Why not? Challenge yourself. Uh, if I wasn't talking and recording, I'd probably do it in half the time, to be fair. Getting glue all over my hands now as well with the bonding. Isn't this stuff? Be careful when you go around with the blade. Um, you don't want to slip and hit one of the cables or the flexes. You could quite easily do that, and then you'll be in uh, the up shit creek. To be honest, and if you get new parts in and all that sort of stuff, you could even damage the board. I don't know. Old cloth here. More adverts. Okay. 
Okay, that's all almost taken off now. Right now I'm going to put some alcohol around the edges and then remove the residue that's there. Okay. Get right into the get your nails in there, get you right into the edge. You want it really clean area. Okay, make sure there's nothing else. Any other bits? Do it one more time. The proper clean job. I'm not removing off the adhesive where the batteries are because uh, it's quite strong and uh, the new battery will come with its own uh, adhesive but uh, just leave that on there, it's not going to do any harm. Okay, there you go. I'm quite happy with that now. That's quite clean if you look at the, the area. It's pretty cool. I don't know whether this, this light on the left side is bright, bright enough. That's a different colour. I think that's, well, that's looks a bit yellow, doesn't it? That's okay. Right. Okay, there's still a little bit just here. Don't want to remove. Okay, where's the new battery? Okay, oops, let's put that in. Get rid of this rubbish, it goes in the bin. Lift off the board slowly, and it will. There's a little, uh, uh, okay, a little bolt sticking out, which the the round part of the of the battery will slot into. So that bit there, this way, and you just pop it on. That's it. Now I'm going to screw down. I get the right screw. The, the, the battery screw is a little bit longer than the the screws for the connectors. Which are there. So let's get that in, shall we? Okay, so what I'm going to do now off screen is I'm going to remove uh, this by heating this out with a hairdryer and then we'll continue. Right, so I removed the home button, as you can see. Now, you'll be very careful, careful of a few things. First of all, do not damage the flex, otherwise you're, you've, you've had it. Now, there's a little nipple on there. I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can see that little nipple there, the black one. Let me point to it. Careful not to knock that off. If you knock it off, then you won't be able to use the home button. It won't work, because it won't press uh, the actual button. Um, there's like a little thing here and it will kind of press onto the metal just there. And if, if you haven't got the nipple, that it won't work. If it does come off, you'll have to get one um, uh, or use, uh, get one from an old iPad if you've got one, a broken one, or um, get one off the, use the home button uh, nipple that, trying to start again. 
the nipple that comes with the the new digitizer, the home button, will have a little thing on there and that will work. Uh, but I'm not going to use that, so let's open this, uh, pack it up. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to test that this digitizer works okay. Uh, now, what I do need to do is put in the home button, first of all. So just get in the flex. Make sure it's in there, push it in. Close the door, and that's okay. And then you wanna, uh, this is horrible, I line up the, the digitizer connectors. I hate doing this, because you never get them in the first time. Put it at an angle. You've got to hear them, they'll make a little bit of a click noise, so then you know uh, that they're in, in position. I don't know whether that's made a click noise, but yeah, it looks... And make sure they're straight. When you feel them, if they're not like bent like this, if they're bent like that, then you know they're not connected properly. Carefully. Turn it around. The LCD screen in. Hit the power button. Hopefully this uh, battery has got some charge in it. There you go. I'm just going to use this duster just to get rid of some of the dust that's on the screen. Right, so it's powered up. Let's see if it works. One, four, three, two, five, two. Okay, and the Touch ID said it won't work because. Uh, we're not using the original one, so I'm just going to grab hold of a an icon and move it around the screen all the way. Make sure it works. That's fine. Put it back to where it was. Home button responds. Uh, the one that comes with it. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much job done. So now I need to just bond it down. So I'm going to ideally you want to power the device off before unplugging the screen, uh, but because you might pop an IC on the board, give it a couple of seconds. That screen looks pretty bad, actually. it's got a lot of dust on it. This has got dust on it, that's why. So, get rid of this dust as best to get some alcohol, get a nice clean cloth, uh, which actually I'll show you. It comes with the cleaning uh, cloth kit that I've got here. Let's put some music on first. So this kit comes with all these brushes and all that sort of stuff. You see, I've got another video on this. Just search for PC cleaning. I'll get a new cloth out, put that back in there, and then we'll use that shortly. Okay, so what we've got uh, to do now is remove the screen so we know the digitizer works perfectly. I'm just going to put a bit of cellophane on top of that so it doesn't get more dust. We need to remove, I'm, I'm not going to use the bonding that comes with it because it's got little gaps in places and I just don't think um, that it's any good, to be fair. Um, let's have a look. I might try and use it today actually. Yeah, it could be okay. Should we, should we get, let's give it a go. Let's, and I'll put some, um, my own bonding on bits where there's gaps so 
where there are gaps, like you can see here, there's a little gap there. I'll use some of my own bonding and just put some apply in the area with some gaps. And I think this should be okay. Yeah, let's let's give it a go. It looks sticky enough. Uh, I'm removing the the camera lens because that's not um, just get a blade and slowly prise it out. Just so we don't scratch the glass. That looks horrible. I'm going to use the original one that came with uh, uh, the digitizer. Right, so just to make the job a little bit easier for me today, I'm going to use the original bonding that came with um, the digitizer. It's been provided by the customer. Okay, so taking off the home button. Um, just pull it off, I'm not really fussed about it. Uh, that's the nipple I mean, that one there it comes with it. So just lift that out, okay. I'll keep that to one side. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to fold this down, the, the actual connectors. Now this has got a, a, a film which we need to lift off if it will allow us to which it has done and as you can see it covers all the area of the screen uh, I'll lift that off make sure that you can cover the frame again with the same film okay put that on there and we're going to fold back. First of all, this flex, not gonna fold it back too tight because we wanna get underneath the frame of the digitizer. Okay, and this one as well. Okay, now you can see I've left a little bit of a bump around thing there so we can get underneath the frame okay what we need to do now is put on put in the home button now I'm gonna put some glue on around the hole because the actual tape there's a tape that goes around this trim that's come off sometimes it doesn't sometimes it does I'm gonna put a little bit of This clue. Okay, and if we do get any on the inside, ideally you need to remove it from there because it will just it will just stick unnecessarily to the inside, and then you'll struggle to use the home button. Okay, I'm going to give that a couple of minutes to just get a little bit tacky and then we'll apply the home button. Okay, let's have a look. That should be tacky enough now. Yeah, that's good. Make sure it lines up correctly. Nowhere near. Nowhere near. It does move. There was some flexibility in there. We are going to put down some glue for the home button as well. And make sure that 
it comes through, it clicks, we can clean that up afterwards, it's not a problem, don't worry about that. Okay, so that's in the right position. The old adhesive for this will work fine. You may have to just push that, the actual circuit in for the memory for the home button. Uh, all I'm going to do now is lift off slightly and we'll put some bonding down for the plate that holds the home button in. Again, that will be a couple of minutes to become tacky and then I'll apply it and you'll get a better connection and strength. All right, that's a few minutes. That should be tacky enough now. Just get that into place and you'll see that it'll become solid. So and the reason why I do this is because afterwards, once you put the once you put the glass down, you don't want this to become loose. With the original bonding, it will become loose. Now that for me is perfect and you'll get a nice seal around the home button so no dust will get in. That's one thing you do not want to do is get dust in there. Right, what I'm going to do with this digitizer is I am going to put, where, where, where the flex part is just there, I'm going to put some bonding down which is just a thin bit of bonding which is going to go like so, that will give it a bit of more strength because this area can pop up because of the pressure that the flexors can give. Now, remember I said at the beginning we're going to, a while ago, we're going to just put some more where there's gaps. We're going to put them like so. Taking the old camera lens off, camera surround off. I'm just gonna put a little bit of, bit of glue just around the edge of the camera. Literally a, a dot on that side as well. And it will only have the adhesive on here, so that will bond down to the glass just there. Just making sure that all is well. Okay, that looks solid. So what I'm going to do first of all is put in the home button. This flex in. It's difficult to see what you're doing with that flex though. I find the left one goes in better, first of all. Turn it around this way. Make sure it's solid. Leave that one. Perfect now, that's great. Don't forget to put in the little little tab. Take the blue stuff off. Ah, one thing I haven't done, which I do need to do, is take off. the adhesive protective covers so we can glue it down nicely okay You don't want to be too long doing this because the bonding that we've put down here, you don't want to dry up and go hard, otherwise you'll crack the screen when you try and push it down. I need to crack on with this now because I think lunch has just arrived. 
for one of them days today. Fancy a bit of chips and gravy. Oh, love it. on the screen you can even use a good window cleaner that will but put it on the cloth on the cloth first okay I'm happy with that now Keep the screen in power the device up And screw in the screen. Okay, if we don't slip when doing this, you crack the screen. Yes, you've noticed something that I haven't. What I have now. The screws for the flexors. Line the frame up. Put one of them in. Don't do all three. Just that just gives you kind of you can move it around. Make sure the screws line up. Blowing off a bit of the dust and I just seen landing on the on the screen. Right, another tip for you, take it off the top, top film because you'll see there's any dust uh, there as well. Clean. Put my little fingerprint mark just there. You can use this film just to smooth that off. Before you apply it, make sure there's no other dust anywhere. Wow, that's shocking. This screen has got quite a bit of fingerprints inside it's going to go over the alcohol go over the whole screen okay so that for me looks clean enough um, I'm happy with that so I'm gonna put in the right hand corner first and I'm gonna slowly if you can see what I'm doing here I'm gonna slide this piece in so the flexes go underneath 
just go around slowly. There you go, that's job done. Home button works perfectly. Does the code work? Oh yes, look at that, absolutely fantastic, love it. I hope you like the video. Um, yeah, it, it's a long one, but you know, it's realistic. Cut, cut and trim and all that, speeding stuff up. Yeah, fine, I've done them videos, but I wanted something a bit more in detail. I hope you like the video um, and uh, a like and subscribe is always helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.